Anna Bardell, your report is about the, the way in which uh, people who have problems with drugs are dealt with. Do you feel that at present the, the system of trying to get rid of it by eradicating the suppliers is the best way? To be very direct, first and foremost, we all have to face up to the reality that the war on drugs that was brought in by President Nixon in 1971 has been an abject failure. And coming at it from a purely a criminal justice perspective and criminalizing and uh, largely marginalizing people who use drugs uh, and who are the victims of drug addiction is simply not working. We are never going to be able to completely stop the supply of drugs. There are ways of reducing it. But unless we get very real and very direct about approaching it from a human rights and a health perspective, we are simply going to continue to do damage uh, to societies, to economies, and most of all, and worst of all, uh, the people in, in all of our nations. Because they, they are the, they're victims, if you like, aren't they? They're not culprits, they're not um, crooks, they're people who are themselves victims of the drug dealers and they need to be treated as sufferers in a sense. Absolutely. And that's that's why, you know, in all the evidence that I took from, you know, various academics and experts, the, the reports that we refer to from the World Health Organization to Amnesty, you know, what we heard time and time again is that the old school approaches, um, which are largely tailored, frankly, for the tabloid newspapers of the world, are simply not working. And, and the people who are you know, suffering the most are the most marginalised people. And all of the evidence points to the fact that quite often those who are most in need and most in poverty suffer, you know, the worst results uh, of a criminal justice based approach. And that very often people fall without, through no fault of their own on difficult times and find themselves in difficult situations and they turn uh, to drugs. And you know, what I saw when I went to Strasbourg to the drug consumption room was a holistic approach. So lots of services there coming together. Um, so psychotherapy, counselling, homeless services, you know, people being able to access, you know, a fair and decent level of care where their drugs would be tested. Uh, no overdoses or deaths um, or when overdoses were happening, sorry, you know, it there not being any deaths and people being able to be looked after and it was a, an eye-opening and a, and frankly a life-changing experience because you're able to see how you know everybody is treated the same everybody is treated fairly and that's what this report goes to and I think the the overwhelming support that I've received at the standing committee yesterday and, and the fact that the report has now been adopted by the Council of Europe speaks volumes about the determination and the change in direction uh, of the, the member states of the Council of Europe. And, and I'm really excited now about taking on the role as a, a, a post-report rapporteur for the next year. And I have lots of plans to write to the Justice and Health Secretaries of all of those nations to engage with them. And that includes in the UK, where we have do not have a good track record. How hopeful are you that now that the report, your report, has been adopted, it will make a difference and change things? And if so, very briefly, in what way? I mean, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating, to be frank. So it really is down to, you know, myself and others who have uh, been involved in this process to uh, to do the rounds and to work with those nations. And, and let's not forget, there's, you know, there are so many organisations and so many nations already leading uh, the charge on this and, and an incredible amount of work being done. But the Council of Europe is an incredibly important uh, organization. Anna Bardell, thank you very much indeed.